Hey guys, welcome to Mickey Ears and Mimosas. And I'm wearing my Space Mountain shirt and you can't see it because I'm on the tripod. Now we gotta reset that. Okay, so what I really wanted to start with is just kind of doing a little video of all the stuff that I bring to Disney. Sometimes it's kind of hard because you're in the parks all day and you don't really know what you're gonna need. So here are some tips and tricks and little things that I like to bring. And a lot of it I do get on Amazon, so I will link everything down below so that you guys can check it out as well. So the first thing that I got were these waterproof bags. I know that it's gonna pour at some point when I'm there. It just is Florida in the summer. So I figured I would rather be safe than sorry. And they come in a whole bunch of different sizes so I can fit a bunch of different stuff in there. And you guys will see as I'm showing you more in depth, but I kind of just shoved everything in all different size bags. So in my first little bag, I have my portable fan which is amazing it also folds and I think there's a little thing that you can attach like a wrist strap to um, but this is nice because it's really light it's easy and it's rechargeable so I don't have to worry about replacing the batteries constantly and all of that and the second thing is this little ring light this I actually got from Target um, and it was pretty cheap. I think it was only like 10 or $15. But this actually clips right onto your phone. Look, me. So it has a little clip. And then there's just a little button in the back that will turn on the lights. And there's a couple different settings for lighting too, which is awesome. The next thing that I got are these little cooling towels. And I got them in a couple different colors. Um, and they have different color options on Amazon as well. So you could get just plain black or whatever. I just got a couple of fun colors. So I got a green, a blue, and a purple. And basically you just wet them and they stay cool all day. So you put them around your neck or like on your arms at your pressure points so that it keeps you nice and cool. I know that it's going to be ridiculously hot while I'm there. So... Um, I'm pretty much just bringing everything that I can to keep me cool. Just bringing a little empty spray bottle and I'm just gonna fill it up with water when I get there and like mist myself all day long. And then in this little bag I just put two pairs of headphones and they're really tangled right now. Um, but I always bring two pairs. One has the regular headphone jack. God damn. How do, how do vloggers do this, by the way? This is a lot of work. There we go. There we go. Um, I bring one with a regular headphone jack and then one with the iPhone jack so that I can listen to music on my phone or I can plug the other one in on the plane and listen to like whatever they have on direct TV. And then um, another thing that I got on Amazon is this cute little lanyard. So your phone goes in here and then it has a little uh, pocket for cards. So I usually will just stick my annual pass, my ID and my debit card in there. Um, and then this is really nice cause I'll just put it around my neck and not have to worry about like reaching into my pocket every five minutes to grab my phone. And then I also always bring reusable straws to Disney. These, again, I got on Amazon, so I'll link everything below. Um, but these are pretty much just like flexible silicone straws. When I'm at home, I will just throw them right into the dishwasher. But they do also come with this little like pipe cleaner tool. Um, that way you can kind of just like rinse everything out when you're done using it, especially after drinking like a coffee or soda or in my case, usually a margarita, so that they don't get all sticky and gross. And the reason that I usually will bring the reusable straws is because they're pretty much phasing out all of the disposable plastic straws in Disney World. And they do have uh, paper straws most places, 
but they're a really weird texture and I don't like the way that they feel on my lips. I don't know why, it's just a weird thing that I have, but I definitely prefer the um, silicone reusable straws. And I know a lot of places also have like the metal ones, but those kind of freak me out. And I just read something about someone like dying because she tripped and it like went through the roof of her mouth or something. So silicone straws it is. And then in this baggie, I pretty much just have all of my chargers and um, reusable, not reusable chargers, portable chargers. We'll edit that out. So I usually bring my fuel rod with me to Disney. Um, so for those of you who don't know, fuel rod is basically just a portable charger and it comes with little cords to connect to different kinds of phones or electronics. So you buy it at the little kiosk machine for I think $30 and once the battery runs out, you actually can just swap them out for free. So as of right now in Disney World, it is still free to swap them out. I believe in Universal and a couple other places, they do charge $3 to swap them, but luckily that hasn't gone into effect yet in Disney World. So I pretty much use the fuel rod as a backup and my primary portable charger is this little Mophie one. This I actually got quite a while ago and I think it came free with some kind of package deal when I was getting my phone from Verizon and it was probably like four years ago at this point. But this is the best portable charger I've ever used. It will last me at least two full charges for my phone and it's just it's really good so that's my go-to and then my fuel rod is pretty much just backup and then the other stuff that i have in here is really just a charger for my camera battery um, and then both the fan and the ring light that i showed you before are rechargeable so i just have the cords in those and i always bring a little extra um what's this even called plug i guess so that I can plug other stuff into it. And you cannot get enough ponchos. So these I order like in bulk. I think this was a 10 pack from Amazon for maybe $10. Um, and it's literally just like a transparent giant poncho that you're gonna think that you look crazy wearing it, but everyone else in the parks will be wearing them once that rain starts. And if you don't have them, you will absolutely regret it and you will be miserable. So I'm only going for three days, but I'm probably going to bring like five or six of them just to have extras, just in case. I don't know what Kai is barking at, but we should probably go check that out. So another thing when it comes to rain, and this could just be me, but I always feel kind of miserable when the rain is like hitting me in the face. So I always like to have baseball hats with me just to kind of cover my face. I, like, I don't care if my body is soaked, but when it comes to my face getting wet, I am just so miserable. So this is actually a Disney hat. I think I got this at World of Disney in Disney Springs. They do have it all over the parks. Um, Little Monsters University hat, but I wanted to, um, I got this to match my Monsters University shirt that I'm gonna be wearing one of the days in the parks. And I also got this cute little mini bow one, um, which I like because it's pretty plain. And a couple of days, don't mind Kai. Hi bud. He's gonna come ruin my video. <laughs> so this one I got just to wear with like my more neutral tops because that one is very I feel like specific to Monsters University um, and I have a couple black tank tops that I'm gonna be wearing in the parks so I figured this would be nice to kind of go with anything and I figure it is probably gonna rain every day that I'm there at least at some point probably not all day but um i just hate being like caught in the rain so i definitely wanted to be prepared with hats and this was on amazon for like 11 dollars, which was amazing another thing that i always like to bring are little uh bug spray bug wipes i guess um and i think these come in a 20 count and you basically just wipe it all over you so that way i don't have to worry about bringing the bug spray 
like can on the plane and everything like that. Um, they're really convenient. I can just throw them in my backpack and they don't take up a lot of space. And I'm also gonna bring this amazing Contigo water bottle. I have water in it now actually, but it flips up and I think I just got my camera wet. Um, but this is nice because it actually keeps the water cold. The last time I was in Disney, I bought a collapsible water bottle, which I thought was gonna be awesome to just like roll back up and put in my backpack when I wasn't using it. But it just didn't keep anything cold and it tasted kind of plasticky um, and it kind of was just like weird for me. So this water bottle is always my go-to. So I'm just gonna bring this with me so that I can always have cold water because it's gonna be freaking hot. And then, of course, can't forget the magic bands. We'll get it. We'll get it at some point. And that's still not focused. Okay. So, um, this is actually a new one. So, for those of you who don't know, for annual pass holders or anybody staying at Disney resorts, you get a magic band. And basically, that's your room key, your park tickets. Um, you can even link it to your debit or credit card and pay with your magic band. So they're really convenient. Um, and they just started something new, which um, I personally love because I'm obsessed with all the cute little design magic bands. But they used to offer you just the plain colors for free. Now you can upgrade to a cute little design magic band for I think it's like $10 or $15, um, which is amazing because usually they're $24.99 and up if you buy them in the parks. Um, so this way you don't have to worry about paying extra. You can just pay the extra fee and get it for a discounted price. So I got this really cute Spaceship Earth one because obviously I'm obsessed with Spaceship Earth. And this one here, I actually decorated myself. So this is just a plain gray magic band. And then I just took nail polish to do the Mickey and then a glitter nail polish to do the band. And while I'm here, I forgot to show you guys how awesome my Sorcerer Mickey nails came out and I'm so excited about them. And one last thing I almost forgot to show you guys. I got these sneakers on Amazon and they're actually water shoes. So this is all mesh and then in the bottom is a couple different layers of foam with like holes in them so that the water will just go right through them. They were maybe like $20, maybe $25, um, but they were really cheap and I didn't wanna wear like my Nikes in the parks and then just have them get soaked when it rains. Um, so these I like cannot wait to wear. Um, they're also nice because even when it's not raining, because they're like made of mesh, if there's a little bit of a breeze, it kind of just like airs out your feet. So it's not quite as hot as wearing like regular sneakers with socks that your feet are like, I'm dying. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about these. So that's pretty much all of the random stuff that I bring for Disney. Um, I do also have a couple of outfits that are Disney themed, but I have no idea what I'm putting them together with yet. So um, I will post something maybe on my Instagram page with those in them. But other than that, I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna post everything in a link down below. So all of that Amazon stuff, I'm just gonna put in one big list so that you guys can check it out. And yeah, I guess that's it. So thank you guys for joining and we'll see you real soon. Like a blooper. We made it through the first video. That was the oh. hardest thing I've ever done. I'm editing that out That's of my a video. That was... <laughs> and this is the second time recording the entire <laughs> video because I hated it so bad the first time. So just know that you guys are loved because I did all this for you. Bye.